What's up, pilots? Hope that everybody's having a wonderful Friday. Pilot 83 here. Another airplane review, Scottish Aviation Bulldog by Black Box Simulation. I'm glad this plane came because I have a big love for general aviation aircraft, especially trainer planes that were once used by the military. So this plane has a good rating, 4.10 stars, been out on PC for quite a while. It's made by Black Box Simulation. So we're going to take this plane out like we always do, go over it, uh, see how hard it is to take off and start up right from the get-go. This plane is $29.99. So let's go ahead, guys, and get to it. The plane has a uh, max speed of 150 knots, cruise speed of 130 knots, and a stall speed of 62 knots. They say this plane is very forgiving in nature. So we'll take it out. Four-cylinder piston engine has a range of 620 miles, has a service ceiling of 16,000 feet. Let's check out the liveries. All right, so here we go. We got four, eight, ten liveries. I really dig the camouflage. And the one that has the 25 on the back, the basic Swedish trainer, the basic Hungarian trainer. Very interesting. I'm going to go with this one. I will see y'all at the airport. All right, pilots, here we are with the Bulldog. And this is a cute little craft. Man, really clean looking too. Details and everything, the rivets. Looks really clean. You can see the air filter in there. Wish you could open up this engine cover here and see the engine. Dunlop wheels. Very nice. Very nice. So let's get in and see how hard or how easy, easy she is to start. Oh, we got the co pilot right there. Okay. Um, canopy. Unlock. Nope. Up here, I'm guessing. Well, that, that's neat. So you... It's like you're literally moving it with your hand. It doesn't just go straight back. You have to push it back. Voila. All right. So feel feels on both. Okay. Oh, this had heat. Squawking twelve hundred for general aviation. Okay, let's see. Do circuit breakers work? They do not. Heading bug, heading compass. Same thing on the other side. Stopwatch. Give her a little prime there. Give her a little mixture. Check all our lights here. Make sure that they are. See how this plane looks in the dark. Easy. Um, listen for a noise change. I can already tell a little bit. Yep. Great views in this plane, by the way. Lock it. 
Um, night time. See what we're working with. Okay, not too shabby. Um, check this out. Well, it'd be cooler if that thing like lit up all the way. It's very dim too. You don't even see the bulb. Uh, outside the plane. Hmm. Very bright. Well, let's take her off and see if she's worth that 30 bucks. Um, let's see how the flight model is. I mean, really good looking at her craft. So far, everything looks really well. Everything pretty much seems to work besides circuit breakers. Okay. One of my secret little airports here. Y'all know how I do it. <laughs> One minute, guys. Got to fix that. Alright, that's fixed. A little rudder pedal out of alignment issue there. Let's go. This is Mountain Air Airport. If you do not know, to November Charlie Zero. This is an add-on. I think it's like 12 bucks. It is great. Um, turn, turn all that off. All right, let's go. Or runway right here, bumpy runway. Especially at the end and on the sides. And we're off. Alright, just my trim here. Smooth and responsive. Alright, let's feel her fly. No smoking during takeoff, landing, or acrobatics. Or aerobatics. Beautiful plane. No aerobatics, huh? Well, let's see what she can do. I like her. She feels really good with the Velocity 1. I mean, feels very realistic. Definitely in the top, like, general aviation aircraft that we have for realism and feel. Feels really good. I said I love these these old little trainer planes like this.
sun looks so good on this aircraft. Alright guys, so I did some continued flight with her just to make sure that she has no issues, any crashes or any lag and I just really haven't been able to make it produce anything so it seems to be like I said working really smooth and well on the Xbox. Uh, let's go ahead and bring her in for a landing. Where is this? Kind of circling around this whole little area over here. Let's do our first landing here. Trim our stuff right here. There we go. It's a little bit of a tricky airport. It can be. Uphill runway. It's a little rough at the beginning, so you kind of want to land a little past the beginning if you can. Got a little breeze up here as well. It's all right though. Bring her on now. bad at all for first landing. This plane I'm sure it can easily be mastered. Feels absolutely great. Park right here at the house. Put your park a break on. Get out. You know the deal. But yeah guys I give this plane my stamp of approval for sure. This is a amazing little aircraft. I think I definitely a must have a general aviation collection. 30 bucks I think 30 bucks is all right. I, I personally think I'd have been a little bit happier paying 25 cents. It doesn't have autopilot and stuff. But for the quality you're getting, I think it's and how good it looks. I, I, I could settle with 30 bucks. Uh, this is definitely a plane I will definitely really enjoy. Just like the Tudor T1, for example. So yeah, it has my approval for sure, guys. As always, I am Pilot 83. And uh, like I said, come get this cool little place right here. Till next time, guys. Happy flying out there. Fly together, stand together. Peace. If you made it this far, thank you so much. If you like this video and you feel like I earned your subscription, please hit that subscribe button and that like button so you don't miss out. Until next time, guys. See you in the air.